Okay, so now we're going to start our free body diagram at E. So, if we take a look at our diagram, I'm going to go ahead and label my work FBD at E, and I draw point E, and I draw the reaction force REY equals 88.5, and then I'm going to draw the two vector forces, and we always draw them going away. This one's going towards D, this one's going towards C. And that's all there is to that free body diagram. Now what I do need to figure out still though is the angle at play right here. So what I'm going to do is take this triangle and copy it next to my free body diagram. Just a nice simple sketch. I'm going to drop down an altitude here at a right angle and I know that height is 6, because I'm told right here that's 6, and I also know that this is 4. From here to here is 4. So, if I'm trying to figure out this angle, angle E, I'm again going to use the tangent function. The tangent of angle E is opposite over adjacent. Opposite is 6, adjacent is 4. So three halves or two and a half. And so I'm again going to use inverse tangent, that's tangent to the negative first, of three halves. Or you could just write 1.5 equals, and we'll type that in, second tangent 1.5, close parentheses, 56.310 degrees. Okay. So I'll go ahead and copy that in here, 56.31 degrees. So now we're, we're ready to calculate the force vectors CE and DE, and we're going to use those same two formulas. The sum of the forces in the x direction equals zero, and the sum of the forces in the y direction equals zero. So I'll start with x. Uh, zero equals, because I know they all add up to zero. Uh, all right, we have the force of CE. That's going straight left, right. Actually, it's going to the left. And so, um, because it's going to the left, we say that that is negative. It's a negative force since when you're talking about the x direction, left would be negative. So negative force CE, we don't know what it is, so we just leave it like that. And then the force of DE is partially going in the x direction to the left. Again, left, so minus force DE. But we only want the part of it that's going to the left, so we need to multiply it by cosine 56.31. All right, and we don't know either of these, so we have to stop there. There aren't any other uh, horizontal forces. So we go to the forces in the y direction. I'm going to move this over here. The sum of the forces in the y direction equals 0. So 0 equals, OK. Well, we have REY, that's positive 88.5. It's positive because it's going up, um, and when we're talking about the y direction, up is positive. And then we also have the force of DE. That's also going partially up. So that's plus force DE. But we only want the part that's going up, not the part that's going to the left. So we times that by sine of the angle, 56.31. And again, another reminder, the angle that we use is always the angle with regard to the x-axis to a horizontal line. We would never use this angle here, at least not the way that we are doing this. All right, now I can figure this out. I can get FDE by itself. I'll subtract 88.5 over, so that's negative 88.5. And then we need to divide by the sine of 56.31 degrees. So I have FDE equals, and then I just need to type that into my calculator, negative 88 divided by sine 56.31, close parentheses, and we get negative 105.76. And that is uh, Newton of force, and that's compression. So I'm going to automatically put the parentheses C. Now I can use that up here to figure out 
FCE. Um, you just got to be careful with the parentheses. So I'll show you how I'm going to rewrite that. Zero equals negative FCE, that's the same, minus, and then I'm just going to put this in parentheses, negative 105.76 times cosine 56.31 degrees. So even though there's a minus sign there, this is still negative because that's just what we happen to get over here. Um, so yeah, that's really going to be plus in the next step. Now I am going to move this FCE over. Since that's what we're trying to find, it's negative. If I add it to both sides, it's going to cancel out here and it'll be positive over on this side. So FCE equals positive 105.76 cosine 56.31 degrees. So I just need to type that in. 105.76 times cosine 56.31 and we get 58.66. And that is uh, Newtons of force and since it's positive we're talking about a tension force. All right. Now that I have a few of my answers, actually I have four of them, what I want to do is draw my final answer. I don't know all of it yet, um, but I do have enough to get started. So I'm going to go back to my last diagram here and I'm going to draw this. And when I draw my answer, I am going to include all the forces, including the reaction forces and the original forces given. Um, any of the angles that I calculated, I'm going to include, but I am not going to include the measurements. At this point, when you get to the end, they don't matter anymore. Really, the only reason why we use those measurements is to calculate the angles. So, go ahead and draw this. This is going to be my final answer. So your answer is not just a list of numbers, it is actually a diagram, and you want to do a good job of drawing that. Again, you're not going to be able to draw it completely to scale, so just do the best job that you can. And this is A, B, C, D, E. We definitely still label the points there um, and the reaction forces. So this is R, A, Y equals 76.5 newtons of force, we're labeling everything. Over here, Rax equals negative 15 newtons of force. Um, I have already figured out that angle. That angle right there is 71.565 degrees, so I want to include that. Up here at B, we have 15 newtons of force. Um, down here at C, we have a force coming off that of 65 newtons. Uh, up here at D, we have 100 newtons of force. That was one of those initial forces. Uh, over here at E, we have the reaction force of E in the Y direction, 88.5 newtons of force. And we also figured out this angle here uh, when we did the free body diagram at E. Uh, and that angle was 56.31 degrees. And then we have four of our answers. Uh, when we did A, we got negative 80.64 for FAB. Now we're not going to write it with the negative there. We're just going to write 80.64 newtons of force and then we're going to put parentheses C and that implies that it's a negative that is compression. Okay, So right here 80.64 newtons of force parentheses C. And then here 40.5 that's FAC and that's tension. 40.5 newtons of force tension. All right, and then we went over here and did E, and for FDE, we came up with 105.76 newtons of force. That was negative, so we're going to write compression. Um, and then we got FCE right here, 
that was 58.66 newtons of force, and that was positive, that was tension. Now, even though we write them all as positive here with the tension or compression force in parentheses, if we need to use these numbers again, we're going to use the negative or the positive as it was here. Okay, so keep that in mind. All right, now, this is going to be my final answer. I'm almost done. All I need are three more forces, here, here, and here. 